with our expected delivery date to make sure that it's legit and sounds good and there's no more problems. Oh, snap, that's salty. I got the cylinder installed to the pipe. What's up, y'all? So we're gonna start off today's vlog with our expected delivery date on that cylinder and piston kit. Well, I'm not even sure if it's coming with a piston, but I know it's coming with a cylinder for show, for show. Yeah, it's supposed to be here by tomorrow, October 9th. It's in Philadelphia. It shows successfully arrived in Philadelphia at the Philadelphia Hub in 19132 at 8.50 a.m. So we should get it tomorrow. Today's the 8th, tomorrow's the 9th. I'm looking forward to getting that piece so I can install it in the meet meet and maybe get a few more rides, maybe a vlog or two before the cold season comes. With that being said, I think today would be a great day to take apart the meat meat and have it ready for tomorrow's job. So let's take this thing apart. The only reason I'm gonna take this apart a day before the actual part comes in is just so that when I put in the part, it's a lot easier. I don't have to do this tomorrow. I can just test the part. When I install it, I'm not gonna build it. I'm just gonna install the part, install the pipe, and I'm gonna turn it over before I put on any of the panels to make sure that it's legit, it sounds good, and there's no more problems. When I hear it sounds good, then I'm gonna put it together. Right, let's see. No. Too big, too big. Too big, too big, too big. Too big, too big, too big, too big. Too big, too big. Ah! Ah, where'd it go? They stole it. Somebody stole it. Who stole it? Somebody stole the socket I needed. Give me back the socket! Works a lot better. be a professional at building rough houses. I wonder what it's like to, un to uncreate one. Voila, so we meet again. There you go. That easier. Last time I took off the whole oil tank and everything. I didn't even really need to. But then again, I didn't know how it was taken apart. Now I have a better idea. So I pretty much have everything that I need exposed. Exposed. All right, so next step is I gotta take off that cylinder. All right, here we go. I'm about to take it out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. You ready, you ready, you ready? Here goes the head. And now let's take out the cylinder. Oh, snap, that's Saudi. I got the cylinder installed to the pipe. Yo, Saudi! Thank the Lord for tools. Whew. All right. Now I can say you're ready. <laughs> I was Saudi earlier. Let me take this off without ruining the piston. This is the damage. Look at it. Check it out. 
Look at that right there. It cracked a lot more. Wow, you see it? When I put the pressure from tightening it, let me see, see if I can give you a good view. You see that, right? It look crazy. It's deep. It actually completely tore off right here. You see it? It completely tore off like it's crooked. Wow. I hope the new one that they send in tomorrow is a lot stronger than this. Look at that, look at that, wow. I think if I press it, I can flex it and you can see it. It has some play. Yeah, this y'all done. And it's sad because the cylinder itself is still healthy. So y'all just seen the breakdown. Make sure you come back to tomorrow's vlog to see how that new cylinder work out. Can someone please explain to me why did Toyota build in some vents on the sides of the bumpers? Yo, they're so awkwardly placed. Check that out, look at it.